Okay, we got the steering wheel here all ripped apart, worn out. I'm going to show you how to fix it very easily, only using one tool. So all you need is a blade. So what they do is they leather wrap the standard steering wheel for the luxury package ones. So underneath is the nice steering wheel you would find on like a regular Civic or something. So typically if your leather is ripping, you can just remove it and you're going to have a nice fresh steering wheel underneath and I'm going to show you something really cool in a second. Something really amazing. So just bear with me and you're going to see a really, really amazing thing. Obviously I'm a professional, so I'm doing this quite quickly. You want to take your time so you don't actually cut into the steering wheel. I know the perfect amount of pressure, speed, angle. Oh, shit, I think I screwed it up. Just kidding. But yeah, you just take your time. You cut the leather right off. If you are afraid to do this method, another method you can do is just cut the stitching that's at the bottom one by one so you can poke a knife into the stitching and pull it out that will oh that will unstitch it but really it'll take forever i find it much easier just to cut it as long as you're careful it cuts okay i'm not cutting right through i'm just cutting enough where i can then rip it And expose a really nice fresh steering wheel underneath. Really nicely preserved all these years with this wrap. We're gonna enjoy the steering wheel once again. Nobody really wants a ripped steering wheel. Makes you feel like your life is falling apart. If your steering wheel is falling apart, it's like, what the heck's going on, you know? Whereas if you have a fresh steering wheel, now you're in control again of your life. Because a steering wheel symbolizes many things. It is the one tool for control when you're in the vehicle. The main tool for control is the steering wheel. So without that, what do we really have in life? Probably not much. So I advise if your steering wheel is damaged, follow my instructions carefully. Don't hurt yourself. If you're not comfortable with doing it, just don't do it. Forget about it. You can just completely forget about it. But if you're up for it, then go for it. So on some spots, there's going to be a little bit of glue. And so you'll find it a little harder. You got to kind of pull on it a bit harder and cut a little more because uh, usually just on the joining so if you look here, you'll see a joint here, a joint here. There was one there and there's one there. And they've just put a little bit of glue on those spots to hold it together. But once we get through that, the rest of it will separate quite easily. And then over here, we're going to have a different uh, approach where it meets the center of the steering wheel. I'll show you what we're going to do over there to clean it up and get it nice and fresh again. 
So once you come to the center part, you don't continue going down. Now we want to cut towards the center. So come towards the center, just scoring it not through, but close. And then cut it off just like that. We're going to wrap it around and continue to release it. They just tuck it in and they put a touch of glue. God, it's not so hard. Look how fresh this is. It's not so hard to get around that. That's how you do the center. Now we will work our way again. Also make sure you use a fresh blade. Make sure you don't cut yourself with it. So you might need a handle. I, I don't have a handle because they're very expensive. So I'm just using the blade. Um, but yeah, if you can get a handle, it's a little safer because then your fingers won't catch on it as easy. You won't cut yourself. So uh, you can see I'm putting a little bit of force into it. It's only because I didn't cut it quite deep enough. I'm just trying to be safe with not cutting the steering wheel. So if you find that you're putting a lot of force into it, it means you need to just score it slightly further. And then it will separate easier. So I'm coming to the next section here. So we're going to go right towards the middle. So imagine if you're playing soccer, you want to go towards the middle. So basically, this is just like playing soccer. There's no difference. And if you look carefully, you'll see nothing is scored. Everything looks absolutely fresh and beautiful. Now we continue. We're about maybe five minutes in now. Something like that. And we're getting close to the finish line here. So right here, as you can notice, again, there's glue. So there's going to be glue there and there. So this section is going to be quite heavily glued. So be careful not to score through, trying to get through that. So I'm going to come back down this way and see if I can catch it that way. I'm going to leave that alone right now. There's glue right here. So I'm going to score through here. And I'm coming towards the middle. Just like soccer. All right, and then it's tucked in. So we got to make sure that we try and remove the part that's tucked in. If it gets stuck, you'll have to get it with tweezers. Uh, I think I can do it without tweezers. I have faith that tweezers will not be needed. So I got to give myself a bit of a handle. So I'm going to make a little handle for myself. Look at this little handle I made. See this piece? That's my handle. Now when I pull it, it's going to untuck. It might be hard for you to see on the camera, but I'm pulling this handle, which is untucking this piece. So what they do is they glue it and they tuck it in. They tuck in the leather with some glue. So we're untucking it. Boom, untucked, done. So that's done. Now we're at the little home run stretch. So once again, soccer talk, home run. So we're going to chop this. And coming down the home run stretch. Okay. Just using very slight force. Basically, not even trying with any force right now. <coughs> Barely touching it, but you know, that's just me. 
if you find that you're using excessive force trim it a bit more okay so now as i assume this last section was going to be the hardest part because it's glued here and here so literally almost all of it glued besides this little center part so it's going to be hanging on so we got to do kind of a deep score here what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to start to unstitch so that idea i told you earlier you could always just go and unstitch I'm going to do some unstitching here. So I'm just cutting the little string, the stitching. And then I got three more. They may not have all been cut through, but I kind of cut it. And then it should release. So as long as I get some released, then it's pretty good. All right, now... I can slowly kind of guide it with the blade. There we go. And there we go. So it's all off. That's what's left of the leather. Okay. Now that rip steering wheel that made the car look like it's falling apart and it's getting old. It's gone. This steering wheel is now extremely fresh. It looks like it just came out of the lot and we haven't, inc we haven't cleaned it yet. So it still has glue residue. Uh, not much of it because my hand's not getting stuck anywhere, but it does have it. So now you just want to clean it with some nice interior cleaner and it's going to shine like new. It's going to look like new. It's going to feel like new and it really just restores it in five minutes using one tool. All you need is a blade and five minutes and that's how you restore it. There's always a nice steering wheel underneath. So if you have a vehicle and your steering wheel is coming apart, don't even worry. You actually have a brand new steering wheel under that. Thank you, I'm out.